on Friday the 30th of June. I'm Monty from 6D. I'm Sarija, also from 6D. It is great to have you with us. I hope you have all come in crazy hair for our SRC fundraiser today. Hopefully we raise a lot of money for the RSPCA. And happy last day of term too. Woohoo! On today's show, we have some health presentations from Grade 5. We have, an ep we have an episode of Captain's Corner. We see how the Grade 5s went on camp and lots more. So first up, as a part of health classes this term, the Grade 5 students had to research and create a presentation on something to do with health. It could have been exercise or eating better or getting enough sleep. Anything really. And Kilbury Live will bring you some of the best presentations so we can all learn about how to be the healthiest we can be. Here are the first two now. We have one on not coming to school when you are sick and another on playing sport as a way of getting more exercise. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Sethman. I'm Lachlan. And I'm Kane. And this is our project on... Don't come to school if you're sick. Enjoy! If you have a cold, flu, sore throat, diarrhoea, vomiting, significant change in your body temperature, conjunctivitis or gastro, then stay home and don't come to school. Things that can happen if you come to school sick. It can be contagious and could be dangerous for other students. If you don't rest, your sickness could get worse. If you come to school sick, other people could catch your illness. While we don't want you to come to school when you are sick, we still want you to try to come to school if you can. You should still come to school if you don't have a severe cough, you only sneeze every once in a while, you are a bit itchy, you have a mildly sore stomach, you have got a bruise or a cut, or you are just tired. Some common symptoms of real sickness are red dots on the body, long-lasting headaches, nausea and vomiting, upset stomach, shortness of breath, dizziness, sniffles, tiredness and loss of appetite. So, in summary, stay home if you are sick because it could spread and cause others to get sick and if you are sick you need to rest. Thank you for listening and that's all folks. Hi Kilbo, my name is AJ. This is Coral, JC and Mo. We're all 5B. We're here to tell you why we need to have enough exercise. Not getting enough exercise is bad because you won't be at your best. You won't be able to play sports at all because you won't have enough stamina. Yes, yeah, sports is really important to everyone's health. What AJ said is really important. We wanted to tell you because we would love it if everyone else got a little bit more exercise. Like playing cricket, footy, soccer, or gymnastics and netball, and basketball and any other sports you can think of. Keep calm and play sports. Bye! Thanks for that Grade fires, and we hope that the people watching learnt something. It's now time for this week's Captain's Corner. This episode is about the green cards. Take a look. Dodgy green cards make the job harder for school captains and house captains to set up assemblies. Recently, we've been getting green cards that either have the wrong numbers filled in, the wrong symbols such as ticks, no grades all the week are filled in. And sometimes we have green cards that are scrunched up and not in good condition. All we ask is that you have all the sections filled in correctly and keep the green card in a good condition. And if you want to win, make sure you remember to fill out in the first place. And remember, Kilbury Valley is a safe and happy school. Thanks very much for that, Captains. The green cards are important, so let's do our best to keep them up to date and filled in correctly. Last week, the Grade Fives went on camp to Waratah Beach Camp. Let's see how they went. Last week, the Grade Fives went on camp to Waratah Beach. Lots of great activities, hanging out with friends and learning lots of exciting stuff. 
So I'm, I'm here with Gagi that just got back from camp. So Gagi, what was your favourite activity in camp? My favourite activity was roasti roasting the marshmallows over a fire and that was the first night we went to camp. What did you learn in camp? I, I learned about the stars on the first night and, and we were lucky enough to find a shooting star. Why do you think we go to camp? I think we go to camp to enjoy ourselves and learn new things that are outside of school and also hang out with your friends. Thank you for your time. I'm here with Ashwa and Wakelin. So, what was your favourite thing in camp? My favourite part of camp was the night walk because we got to learn about the Milky Way and we saw some soldier crabs. My favourite thing at camp was the giant swing because um, I went to the top um, and it was fun at the same time as it was scary. What did you learn at camp? I learned that there's a lot of endangered species at camp, at Wiltai Beach Camp, and it's a really special place. I learned about the stars, and we, we learned about the stars, the milk, and the Milky Way, and um, yeah, the planets. Why do you think we go on camps? So the teachers know how we react outside of school and um, to give us a break from work. I think we go on camp because when we grow up, you like you know what to like. You can do everything yourself, and you you um you can you can handle everything yourself without people helping you. Thank you for your time. Looks as though the Great Fives had an awesome time at camp. Looks like you all had a great time. Awesome camp. Now we have already had some awesome submissions for the environmental mascot competition. They're looking so good. If you still want to get involved, take a look at this. For the last year, we have been trying hard to keep our school wrapper free. And the playground looks so much better. Great, Great job, job Kilbury. And as part of our commitment to being environmentally friendly. We have a new competition that you can be part of. Kilbury is looking for a new friend. We are looking for a mascot for our environmental programs. We are looking for a student in Kilbury Valley Primary School to design it. You will need to design and draw a superhero character that has environmental powers. You will need to include their name, their costumes and their superpowers. Entries will close on Thursday, 27th of July. That's the end of week two next term. That means you have the entire holidays to get drawing. You can hand your designs to your teachers. The school community will then get to vote for their favorite design. The winners will be announced after that. So start thinking and get drawing for your chance to create our newest friend at Kilberry. Good luck! It will be cool to have your design picked to be our new mascot. Yeah, it would. Now it's time to check out the weather. Today is very chilly, 12 with a bit of cloud. Tomorrow will be 13, but nice and sunny. Sunday will be mostly sunny and a top of 14. Monday 14 and a possible shower, much the same on Tuesday. Wednesday 12 and rain and Thursday possible shower and 13. Now, here are your important dates. The 17th of July is the first day back of school. The 27th of July is when your mascot competition entries are due, so get drawing. And the 28th of July is our student free day. Our teachers will actually be doing some first aid training on the day. So that's the way it is for Friday the 30th of June. We hope you've had an awesome term and we hope you have an excellent break. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.